So we're um, up in Apartment 4 again and uh, I've got some really heavy duty work to do in here. So if you remember many, many moons ago when we first arrived, this area in Apartment 4 was tiled with um, a Tomet, hexagonal Tomet tile, but it was on reinforced concrete and then underneath the reinforced concrete you've got these these are faggots they're called they're, they're little bits of oak board and because the beams the actual joists are so uneven you can't put regular floorboards on them so you put these in between that create a floor of some description and then you know it's okay it's a little you're a little bit tentative when walking on it um, and what I've done is brought up a load of OSB because I've, I've got to take all this up so we're in a bit of a dilemma at the moment we have a large lump of concrete at my feet at the moment and it incorporates a tiled sun symbol. It's reminiscent of a Templar symbol. We know that because we have several of these beautiful things around this property. My feeling, and I think probably Lisa's feeling as well, is because this is encased in concrete and finished concrete, somebody's obviously troweled it over the top because it's smooth, it is of a modern era. It is probably put in by our predecessor, Pierre Dupuy, who owned the property before us, because of his bordering on the obsession about the Templar movement. He wrote books about it, we've discussed that previously. When we ripped the floor up, we left it because we wanted to leave it, because we want to incorporate, even though this is a modern symbol, it's still part of this building's history. So we still kind of want to keep it. My problem now is, can I leave it there and still put in a flat floor in here? Because this is going to be an apartment where we're going to have guests, it needs to be a flat floor. And the hallway part of the floor, if you like, the way that it comes in from the door, is not level. But I'm not moving it. And Lisa would kill me if I even suggested removing it and doing the floor all the way to the wall. We're not going to do it. It's so, it's so, it's so part of the, again, part of the history of the building. We're not going to do it. It's not going to happen. So we have to do something around it. My dilemma, as I said, is whether I can keep this symbol and work around it, or I have to remove it. So I think, first of all, we have to look at measuring. We have to take all this up. So can I just ask a question? So back in the day, yeah. when it was just these faggots, people would have walked on this. I don't know. I don't know whether they would have had this and then somebody would have put a floor on top of it. So, you know, if it was, I don't know, because they, 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 they're, they're not in any way, shape or form level. <laughs> Did you hear what I said there? In any way, shape or floor. <laughs> so after a lot of deliberation, a lot of measuring, trying to figure out a way that we could actually save this sun symbol. We realised there was just no way round it. It had to come out. It 
it's just imperative that we get that floor down because it's stopping us doing a lot of other things. So what I need to do is to man up, take the bit of concrete out, and then we can survey and do the floor. So that's what we're doing today. Nice little Sunday after, Sunday morning, afternoon job. At the moment what I'm doing is just trying to protect a little bit of the, the cave entrance. I don't think it'll be a problem, but I just don't want it covering the stone that we've uncovered a couple of times now. And it's all the stuff coming from above. I'm also going to plastic sheet the side where we've done of the laundry room, because that's where we are. If you didn't know where I was, I'm on the area. I'm in the area that is gonna remain as true to its original state as we can do it. But uh, yeah, so that's the plan for today. Come back and see how we get on. So that is where the old concrete pad used to be. Um, it's probably taken about 20 bucket loads of rubbish and that's all in the trailer ready to go. But the funny thing for me is that now that it's gone, it's almost, it wasn't ever there. That's the weirdest feeling. Just looks like, yeah, there was nothing there. Crazy. And my list's not good enough for you now, baby. No, I've had to do my own. I've I've had enough of this. Um, just uh, generalization of words and all that sort of thing I've had enough so I've had to write my own I spent most uh, oh. yesterday evening working out and do you want to show us your um no, your no. nicely um my little drawings your little drawings no, my little all drawings. shading and <laughs> my little drawings um uh I was always quite into drawing I quite like drawing um what it is I'll tell you, this, this is the thing. What, what it is, it's not anything to do with, I love your lists. I do absolutely love your lists. I'm a man who hates routine, but needs it so much in his life. So my wife writing lists is a wonderful thing. The reason why I've written my own lists is because I have a brain which has many holes in it. And I was slightly overwhelmed the other day um, 
But mainly because I was playing music on the Saturday night. And then I woke up on Sunday morning feeling like I'd had 10 pints of beer the night before, which I had not. And so I was a bit befuddled in the head and just got a little bit overwhelmed with all the work we have to do. So my answer to that was to say to myself, right, list out the things from my perspective, not necessarily from our perspective, not necessarily to a finished product, but just to give me some kind of clarity as to what I need to do. And to also stop procrastinating about certain jobs and say, right, now I know exactly what I've got to do. You just got to go ahead and sometimes bite the proverbial bullet and do it. Does that explain? That explains perfectly, my darling. Now, can I finish my coffee and then get to work? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, all the uh, the little floorboards, the faggots as we call them, are out. The beams are cleaned up because it was full of dirt and horribleness. So I've done that. Pete's very kindly come round to give me an hand because it's really a two-man job. <laughs> um, and what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to put the laser on it to see how far out we are, actually. And I've got it set up on my little pole here, which is a very handy thing to have. Um, and we've got the old lasgo. So I've set it up just so I think where it is. So if you look over this side, you can see that it's right on the base of this beam, on the top of this big beam. Let's call it, that's a beam, that's a joist. So I don't keep going beam, 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 you know, and all that. So they, that runs off of there. And if you look on this side, these joists sit on this beam, but around about six inches above it. So I've done that right close as I can. And so the idea is that we are gonna, to level this, to give it some level, is to run a big piece of timber on that line, cut these down, cut the joists down, and sit them on that beam. That will give us around about a level floor from this aspect. What's gonna happen after that, <laughs> that's a nice little job in itself, 
what's gonna happen after that is we are gonna run probably, or I'm gonna run um, pieces of timber along this side of here to completely level the floor and to mar marry it up with the floor at that side of the room. That's your mission for today, should you choose to accept it. <laughs> this message will self-destruct in five seconds. Cool. So the first thing to do is have a cup of tea. To there, to that. Yeah, so really, I'm thinking to here. I'm gonna go to the one with the Yeah, ideally, you wanna go from here. And then just practice it over Yeah. Yeah? Right. You can try banging them in. Just to get it started. See, you think there. Got me to hold this end of that beam, you two seem... I'll just lift it, we're just getting it close and then we're going to bang in one end and then pivot it on the one bolt. Yeah, so I'll tell you what, let me come down that end yep. and you, you rattle. Be there? Yeah. That's tight. Yeah. Alright. Let me put that chill and just drop back down. Oh, blimey. It's a bit heavy. I'll start winding it in now. Yeah. Yeah, that is. That's not going, is it? It's going in. Yeah, but it's going to be but a lot. If long... I put too much on it, no. I don't want to break the bolt off. Yeah. It's, it's moving okay. Is it? Alright. I love my job. <laughs> a bit of surfing. Okay, the support beam is in, the beam that's attached to the other beam, and now we're cutting the joist to rest on top of that. So it's a case of literally working along, and then we, we're gonna put some board over the top of it so we've got an area to work because they are extremely heavy and quite difficult to, to move, and you don't wanna drop them because they'll fall through. And you have to pick them. Because they haven't got a big saw, they have to cut. Cut one side, then the cut other side. Cut one side, then the other side, yeah, it's quite a laborious process. But. This is not fine drawing. This is not fine cabinet making. You see, this one's already been cut out. This was obviously cut out to somehow level something. But, um... Oh, a bit 
it forward. <laughs> we get some nice logs out of this. Come out. Looks a lot leveler. Yeah. It looks a lot leveler. However, it now the weirdest thing is it now looks like it's doing that. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> Which it is a little bit. Um, it is a little bit. No, actually, it's that. That's, yeah, so that's a little bit high. A little bit proud. But um, do you want to put some board over here? Yeah, I think just so we've got something to kneel on when yeah. we cross. Yeah. There you go, that's that done. Right, that's all the beams in. The, uh, all the joists, I should say. All the joists are now at a similar level. I wouldn't say they're level, but they're at a similar level. Um, we've mucked around, we cut the ends off. We've had to chop some bits out. We're gonna have to shim and do all that sort of thing, but that's down to me. But the heavy bit, We've done. So, happy days. Happy. Any last words from you, Pete? <laughs> Any last words <laughs> before, before, we, <laughs> before he falls down the hole? Uh, good job, all done. Uh, it's brilliant. You see, that's the thing. It's just what I find. It is so much nicer having somebody who, yeah, understands what you're trying to achieve and also has an understanding of how these things work. And you can brainstorm why you why you're doing the job, which is even better. Fantastic! I can't thank him enough. That way. Yeah, it's cool, blimey! Look at that. So this is the old floor in here, um, and this is where the hallway, sort of the hallway bit, the landing or whatever you want to call it, and then that's our new floor, which is on. A dirty great lump of timber there, and a bit at the back. It's amazing. I, I am so pleased because that is the start of getting this floor done, and that's my biggest headache. Six thirty this morning, I woke up thinking about it, and I couldn't get back to sleep because I was thinking about it. So hopefully tonight you'll get a good night's sleep. Yeah, but now I'm now now I'm on to the next bit, and now. <laughs> Yeah, it's always the way, it's always the way. Brilliant though, yeah. first step done though. First one done, brilliant.
So it's a good start to the week, wasn't it? It was blinding. It was really good. I was very pleased. We have got stage one of floor done, which is such a monumental thing, really, because I just didn't know what I was going to do. Thank you, Pete, again. Massive, massive thank you. Um, we knocked it out fairly quickly, but we're on and running to get the floor in here. You've been worrying about that for quite a while, haven't you? I have. It's given me a bit of sleepless nights. It has, I have to say. So, while Ted's been busy, I haven't just been sitting on my bum. Um, we only have one week now before Never. our first guest arrives. So, for me, it's all been about cleaning the apartments, deep clean, making sure everything is ready for our guests to arrive while Ted continues. So, um, so yeah, it's quite nerve-wracking, isn't it? It this is. season's about to start and we're yeah. in this sort of state in other areas. So we just need to make sure that we keep the mess and the grime away from mm. the areas that they're in so they basically don't see it. <laughs> Smack wrists for me. Because I don't, the thing is, I don't, and I'm sure a lot of blokes don't do this. You just do the job and think about it later and think, oh, crap, what a mess I've made. So, um, yeah, big slap on the wrist for me. <laughs> Sorry. But, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, so next week, first guests arrive. Um, and, yeah, we'll be onward and upwards. We will so, hopefully, yeah. You might have to bear with us. Um, Thursday vlogs will always go out. But Monday vlogs, it really all depends on where we're at with our guests. They have got to come first. And, um, yeah, so just to pre-warn you, Thursday vlogs is always a thumbs up and a must. But Monday's vlogs are a bonus, so there may be some weeks, but I will let you know if they're not coming I know out. we've said it many, many times before, but um, we, we are in a position where we have to run a business. So thank you so much for your support. We love you dearly, but please give us a bit of leeway, yeah? Yeah. Because we've got to run a business. So we would just like to say on that note, a huge thank you to those of you that bought us a coffee this week. Well, hey, Linda Chamberlain. Cindy Parks and Ben Widdison, thank you. Michelle, you're very naughty, but we love you dearly. We love you, Michelle. And finally... Stella. Now, Stella's been with us right from the very... I think she's the first person I remember commenting. Yeah, and she always is informative and... How, so helpful with her comments. Thank you, Stella. It's been absolutely brilliant having you along for the ride. And please, there's plenty more to come. But thank you so much for your donation. So thank you to all of you. If you'd like to make a donation and buy us a coffee, leave us a tip, then the link is in the description. And if you'd like to join the Patreon and see all the behind the scenes, Zoom chats with me and Ted, and everything else, what more could you want? Oh, fantastic. The link is in the description. So we'll see you all again on Thursday and uh, yeah have a good week everyone loved you all like and subscribe thumbs up it doesn't cost a thing thumbs up <laughs> see you all soon take care everyone love to you bye, bye. right dinner time dinner time good night of course. let's go you ready doggies gonna go out for a walk <laughs> oh look at them jump <laughs> yeah oh oh my legs right see you soon Oh, go on. <laughs> 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 you scared the life out of me. <laughs> Come back to the camera. <laughs>